Hey, what's up, everybody? Zero Life Eighty Five here. Uh, I know I haven't done a video for you guys in a long time, and uh, I apologize for that. I've just been really busy with school and uh, other stuff in my life, but I digress. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, in Soul Calibur Five how to create a spinny, spinning slash flicker effect for your character. Um, as you can see, the head of uh, this female character, her name is Mrs. Flicker, is spinning uncontrollably and uh, flickering like fucking crazy. Um, I haven't seen anybody else do this online, and I've been playing a shit ton of Soul Calibur, so um, I haven't seen any videos of how to do this on YouTube, or I haven't seen any other characters who've done this, so I decided to show you guys how I figured this out. Um, this is basically a no clipping glitch. Uh, in the character creation mode for Soul Calibur 5. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new character. I'm just showing you right now what the outcome should be. So, right now let's uh, go back to character creation and uh, let's create a new character. Now, this works for both male and female. Um, you, can you can do this with any character, probably original or. Um, you know, characters that already exist. But let's go with female, because it's the easiest one I can do right now. Alright. So, what we're going to do is, you can use this for anything. Um, you can make a, uh, a head that spins a lot. Um, you can make, you can put it on uh, your arm, your hand, leg, whatever part of the body that you want to spin. Um, or flicker. Um, if you want to make a head uh, spinning prop or a flickering prop, uh, the prop, what you want to do is go. First thing you want to do is go to body. Doesn't matter what face you have. Um, the skinnier the character, the better probably. Although it probably really doesn't matter since if you change the body type, um, I think the head will always stay the same. I'm not 100% sure, but you want to have short hair, uh, or else it's going to pop through the. Um, through the prop, no matter even on the even on the biggest uh, length, width, and density or uh, depth or whatever. So we're just gonna make her bald, <clears throat> nice uh, bald girl right there. The second thing you want to do, um, this is just a preference. You don't have to do this, but if you make your character all black, it'll blend a lot better. I know it looks ridiculous, it looks like charcoal, but whatever. Um, it'll, it'll blend better if you want to make the head a uh, cylinder part. If you want to put the cylinder on the head. Okay. And then, uh, I'm not going to adjust equipment or anything like that, you can do that yourself. But, oh, uh, another thing is, uh, this flicker slash spinning effect, uh, it's no, this no clip glitch, so far, I haven't tried all the props yet, but so far, the only ones that work seem to be the box, the cylinder, and the ball. Uh, and by, I say ball loosely because the ball, you can't really get it to flicker all the way around. Um, you can only get it to have like a line going through it, either vertically or horizontally. Um, I haven't adjusted, I haven't really messed with it too much. I mean, there probably is a way to figure it out, but I haven't found it yet. Also, with the box, you can only get the front, top, and back to flicker. The sides will jagger a little bit, but they won't flicker or spin. The easiest one is the cylinder, which is the one we're going to use. So, first thing you want to do, and like I said, I'm only doing this if you want to create a character with a really weird looking spinning head thing. Um, like I said, this works on any part of the body, but this is the easiest. And if you're just figuring this out for the first time, I recommend doing this first. So, first thing you want to do is take cylinder one, and you're going to want to use these uh, these properties for the equipment parts. You're going to need at least um, every single piece has to be the cylinder. If, if you want to make the cylinder spin, you're going to have to use all three parts, uh, and they all have to be the same. Um, so the first thing you want to do is take the vertical, make it negative 31, 
and then uh, you're going to want to go back five. Now these properties, this is just for the female character. The male character will be different because their body structure is a, uh, is a little bit bigger. And depending on, you know, the, the uh, properties you add to their muscle mass, their weight, their biceps, all that shit, um, it'll be different. But for your basic female character, um, this is what you're going to want to do. So the negative 31.5, and then just crank up the width, crank up the length, and the depth. Uh, you don't need to mess with the vertical or horizontal or angles um, unless you want to, but it's unnecessary. But as you can see, it's covering the entire head, right? So there's no, there's nothing popping through. And then you're going to want to do the same thing. Negative 31. Negative 5. What was it? Negative 5. Hold on. Negative 5. Okay. Negative 5. Crank up. I also apologize for any background noise. I'm using a uh, regular camcorder, HD camcorder. I don't have a hot pod or whatever the fuck they're called, so. HDVR or some shit. Alright, so, once we have all the decimals, all the property uh, points in place, go back to, go back to the, uh, the menu and go to Colors and Patterns. And go all the way to the bottom. Now, here's a little tricky part. Um, it's kind of like a paint, like a canvas. Uh, in order for the uh, colors to, co to mesh or collide and flicker with each other, you're gonna need to have a plain back background, a plain white yeah, white uh, background, like canvas. Um, the second one, you can make any color you want. Uh, let's just go red. Red is awesome. And then uh, the white one, sorry, the third one. Just make it white for now. We're gonna go back to the color and pattern and stickers later, but uh, right now we're just trying to get it to flicker. Okay, so the first thing you're wanna, uh, uh, gonna wanna do is go to cylinder one, go to adjust, go to the length and just minus it by one. Just one. Um, the lower you minus it, it should, um, spin faster, but you don't really need to, uh, negative, uh, sorry, 49 or 48 should just be fine, and that should cause the sides to flicker, see it flickering and spin. Second thing you want to do is skip cylinder 2, uh, you don't need to mess with that at all, go to adjust cylinder 3, go to the width, and make it 44, and then there you go. We should be having a crazy spinning top. Now the cool thing about this is once you got the flicker to work, uh, go back to color and patterns. Oh, just FYI, um, this doesn't work with um, uh, patterns or anything for some reason. It patterns, I don't know, for some, re some reason won't flicker. It only works with basic colors. But you can adjust the, go to similar too, you can adjust it to any color you want and it'll start spinning all crazy like. My original one that I found that I uh, found this glitch was black because uh, I thought it looked really cool black. But you can make it red, yellow, green. Let's go with green. It's pretty. Let's go with dark green. Yeah. Right. Now you can change the colors of anything you want. Um, this will adjust the sides. The first cylinder prop will adjust the sides. You can make it any color. So we'll go like red. Actually. Go with. Uh, yeah, let's go with red. Whatever. Christmas colors, right? And then the top one, the third one will control the secondary color for the top and bottom. And you can make that any color you want to. If you want it to be the same, just make it red. Or if you want to be really weird, go yellow or anything like that. So. Let's 
Look at that, it's got a Christmas looking cylinder thing. Alright, so that is how you make a spinning cylinder prop for, at least for the head. Um, like I said, this works with any parts of the body as long as you adjust it properly. I'll make another video showing how to do the square one on a male character. Um, either, either one works, you can use the cylinder on a male or a female. But uh, let's test it out in mock battle real quick. This isn't the best stage to show it off because it's really bright, but as you can see, it's spinning. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I will, uh, like I said, I'll make this another video showing the square, uh, flicker slash, uh, spinning method. And then, uh, on a male character, and I'll tell you how to create that. Alright, so this is Zero Logic 85. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, happy creations, everybody.